Backstage, the Austin City Limits Music Festival. We've got gentlemen here that we're used to seeing bright and early in the morning during South by Southwest. Instead, it's a reasonable afternoon for mm. you folks. This is White Reaper. Welcome. Hello. Thank Hello. you. Hello. Thank you. So this has been a series of festivals sort of strung together in a tour-like way. How weird is it out there in the world to be doing what you're doing right now? It. I thought it would be weirder. I think everybody's pretty uh, cooperative with, you know, the restrictions or whatever we have placed on every show. And it's it's really fun, actually. It's, like, kind of relieving. It's it's weird to have the looming fear around your head all the time. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things where if you're going to be out on the road, you, you can be as vigilant as possible. But you kind of also have to just, like, let it go at a point, too. So, you know, we're doing our best. It's been so far so safe. I think know? the uh, the weirdness is mostly happening in our brains. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Did you know or did you have a real idea of how much you missed crowds? I'm assuming that once you saw a crowd for the first time in two years, you were... When we first started playing shows again, I couldn't, like, sleep. I just couldn't sleep because of the adrenaline. I just hadn't had that in so long. You know, it's, like, very weird to just jump back into it after just sitting on my couch for, like, two years or however long it was. It's really good for my self-esteem. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It is good. Does for... it change chemistry, though? I mean, you got to. Do you have to rebuild that after yes. a longer break than you're used to? Ooh, yeah, it was ooh, definitely yeah. weird. It felt like walking in some very ill-fitting shoes. It was strange. It was like, I, I like none of none of the stage moves were there whenever we went back up there. I felt a little robotronic. It's really all about bringing back that mes the muscle memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was weird. We've uh, covered this ground before, but it's worth covering again. You two picked him up at a South by Southwest? Yes. Much we, to their chagrin. We uh, discovered Hunter because he let us stay at his house through mutual friends, and Tony and Hunter played acoustic guitar and covered some Third Eye Blind together, and we figured he'd be the best fit. <laughs> That's all it takes. And Hunter had bleached tips and very long hair at the time, as a college boy would. But you had a reasonable <laughs> career path ahead of you. Yeah, I have an accounting and, and degree. you ditched that. Yeah, well, I still, I still do a little bit of work on the side to, you know, Pad the bank account. I think you're full time. If I'm not I am full time. I have a job. I got a job during COVID uh, to uh, you know augment my lifestyle, and I'm still doing it on the road. It's like a local company called Golden Ratio. Check it out on the internet out there, AC. Whoa! That's right. Plugging. We're plugging. Yeah, you're you're allowed over there. The Sam. Golden Ratio sounds like a pyramid scheme. It is. <laughs> okay, good. Primarily, but also we sell coffee. Okay. So, you know, yeah, I've been doing that, but. Fired. I do both. I do I do music and and coffee. So, are you the uh, tour accountant too? No. No. No, I'm not. I, our tour accountant actually probably doesn't like me very much because I put a lot of things on uh, my band card, such as dinners and fast drinks food. and fast food for all of us. Since he has a job, he just doesn't care about how much money he's making for the band, so he's throwing it around left and right. <laughs> He's playing with our money like that is know, not true. Like Play Doh. It goes for all of us. We spend it all together for each other. Tell this me I'm wrong. Hey, I gotta defend yeah, myself. We all, we all love each other. This is White Reaper backstage at the Austin City Limits Music Festival. Uh, embezzlement schemes yep. and uh, pyramid schemes and siphoning. Yes. Hunter yeah. is a professional at those. Basically, you guys are schemers. Yeah, dreamers too. <laughs> What did it feel like today at the festival, on stage? There's heat. There's, I mean, there, there's that to get used to too, right? Like yeah, it's sort of very when, hot. when you used to be able to do these things, go from festival to festival, because it was part of something bigger. I'm assuming each of these are a little bit different now. What do you mean, like by feel? Because they're not just yeah. a, another part of a longer tour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of, you know, segmented, and it feels like kind of a lot of starting and stopping, and that's always interesting. I feel like we're kind of in the groove of it right now because we've been playing so many stop-and-start shows, but uh, it's kind of nice to just get to play, like, three shows in a row, you know? You, you gain momentum that way, and then it's nice to have, like, a day off, but we just haven't had the opportunity to really build three-day momentum yet, which, you know, is... Uh, Always really nice. That is, a, that is a huge thing that we've kind of missed on this run is we're just playing a show and then two off days and then we play a show and then an off day and then we play a show. And it's What's a, yeah, yeah. We gotta get we gotta we need that practice. 
Mm -hmm. the, uh, the crowds, too, you know, a lot of those people don't know who we are, and it's pretty humbling to play in front of people that have no idea who we are, and that sometimes that can make you a little bit better. Well, the idea is to make a first impression, and yeah. it sticks. If they don't like me, I quit. <laughs> Sam's hot on the mic right now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm leaning too far into the microphone. You've got your own accountant and your own sound engineer. Yes, exactly so, right. Yep. You seem best positioned here. I'm a yeah. little more comfortable than you guys. You should <laughs> probably go down to my level. Did, uh, did you use the downtime to write? That Record? Start, that actually starts tomorrow. <laughs> well, not the writing. We've written a lot of stuff. Uh, we're recording in November, um, so we've we've got to kind of put the final touches on all the songs. We've got a big mess of songs, and it's kind of like we're uh, going to be whittling them down this week in Austin, actually, over the next five days to kind of decide which ones are the final ones we're going in the studio with and finish all that good stuff. Yeah, perfect. Then your COVID record will come out the same time as everyone else's exactly. COVID record. Exactly, it'll be perfect, just what we wanted, a COVID record. <laughs> there you go. They are White Reaper. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys. Have All a right. nice day. White Reaper from backstage at the Austin City Limits Music Festival will be here throughout the entire festival, both weekends, with interviews and performances from backstage with Austin City Limits Radio.